Thank you. Welcome to um, Meow Mix. Tonight is Sun Shoes. Wow. Do, you know, do you like my sexy sun socks? Sure, yeah. thank you, sure. Meow. No, I'm filling in for Pippi Love Stalking and like a this ferocious said, um, Pippi is doing a film. She has been cast in a film called The Golden Shower Girls and she is playing P. Arthur. Oh my god. Oh my god. Give it up for her. Yes. P. Arthur. I'm gonna be dubbed in, I'm wedding white. Oh my god. That's so horrible. I really I should be fired. I should not even get free dream tickets for Don's total jokes. Thank you guys! Thank you so much. So tonight is Sun Shoes. I, mean, I think this is the first time I've actually paid attention to a theme because it was an easy one. <laughs> I got my so um, I just I was in the Castro, which uh, for you tourists, if there are any tourists here, um, it's known as the Fudge Packing District. Uh, the land where one man's junk truly is another man's treasure. Yes. Yes. Especially if you're gay. Especially if you're gay. And even if you're not, wow. That you goes think? triple if you're tragic. And it's triple if you're tragic. <laughs> and you're <Yeah>. fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, hi. Um, so my name is Candy, like from the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. My real name is Candace, but my parents started calling me Candy when I was a baby, so I grew up to be a big whore. <laughs> Give it up for big whores. <laughs> gay club, I really, I feel like I'm like in my pajamas or something. Uh, I really do. You feel like I'm in your pajamas? Do I feel like I'm in your pajamas? Oh! <laughs> oh, thank you. I don't know what to say about that. That's cute. Anyway, you guys are wonderful. I, I love the stud. I love performing here. Um, I, I didn't grow up in a place as cool as San Francisco. I grew up in Pennsylvania. Uh -huh. Set clown. I grew up in Scranton, Pennsylvania, which sounds like Scrotum, Pennsylvania. The office! That's so funny that you yell at the office. Just so you know, that's not the Scranton I grew up in. That's the Hollywood glamorous version of Scranton. All the people on that show have teeth, okay? That's not how it was where I grew up. Scranton is an old repressed mining town. It's it's a shithole. It's a good place to get drunk and die. Really. Picture Modesto with snow. <laughs> oh shit is right. I recently had the pleasure to perform in Modesto because my career is on fire. And uh, yes, thank you. I was at this big venue, it was this big, uh, this big nightclub, and they had comedy, and then after the comedy show, they had a dance party. And I guess every week they have a theme, people have to come dressed up. I didn't realize that. The theme that week was white trash. I was like, really? Is that, is that necessary? Like I said to the bouncer, how do you know who's participating? <laughs> it doesn't help when the flyer says, come as you are. <laughs> So that's the kind of place I, I grew up in. We had a bar and a funeral home on every corner. And they were cool, fun bars like the stud. They were scary old man bars that opened at 7 a.m. Everybody was shaking. You ask the bartender for a food menu and he points to a jar of pickled eggs. My mom's playing darts in the back. It's a bad scene. Bad scene. So my whole life I dreamed of getting the hell out of there and making a better life for myself. So I moved to Oakland. Oh, <laughs> Yes, yes. Let's give it up for bad decisions. Woo! Thank you. That's what brought me here tonight. That's what brought me here tonight. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm here tonight because I had to take a little hiatus because I was doing a day uh, a temp job and it ended. Thank God. Let's give it up for the bad economy that lets us do bad things. <laughs> been able to do any of this, really. What I used to have to get up. Job? What's that? What was your temp job? Oh my god, this is so sad. One of my comedian friends works at this um, this this place that like services printers, so they needed help answering phones and filing. And half the time I pretended to look busy, and I was like on Facebook playing games. Farmville. That's sad. Farmville. I don't do Farmville, but you know I play it girl. Please, if you're if you're on it, girl, please add me to your clique. You know what's really sad and pathetic? 
I made a Facebook profile for my dog. Oh, no. Not just because I'm a crazy dog person, which I am, but I made it because I needed another member of my clique and it girl. <laughs> so either way, there's no good, there's no sane reason for me to make a profile for my dog. I'm either a crazy dog loser or an it girl loser. What's an it girl? No, an it girl winner. Wait, can you define an it girl loser? No, I can't because it can't be defined. Because <laughs> she's a winner. Winner, winning. <laughs> Winning! We don't care about Charlie Sheen anymore, do we? Uh, what do you guys say? Were we supposed to care about in the first place? Winning! No, we weren't. No, we weren't. Yeah, Has anyone here ever had two and a half men? <laughs> that make like a million, two million. No, I don't give a shit about Charlie Sheen. Anyway, Facebook. No, we all love Facebook, right? I think I'm Facebook friends with most, most of you, right? Yeah. Maybe, no, I don't know. Are we, I'm kind of sick of Facebook. Are you? I think because my friends are posting enough new pictures. Uh, but let me tell you what really upsets me. If you really want to piss me off, I hate when somebody, like, they, they tag me in a picture that I'm not in. Because I get the email and it says, oh, like, you know, Tragic Fantastic tagged you in a picture. And I'm like, oh, I'm all excited. I'm like, oh, wow, cool, I can see me. I don't remember posting for this one. I'm all excited. I can't wait. You know, I hope it's flattering. And I click on it, and it's like the cast of Gilligan's Island. Are you Marianne? No, I'm not Marianne, and I'm not Ginger. You got it! Mrs. Howell. <laughs> that was not me. Yes, it was. Like, really? Just by the way. Unfriend. <laughs> That's not cool. I'm just telling you guys how to not. Um, you know funny. we're gonna all do that oh, tomorrow now. It's tagging on a burrito. Poking is worse. Why poke somebody? I'm not popular. Poking in public. Yeah, why poke somebody? Why not? And it's like public. Well, you know, you can't poke Poking used to be a way to let like, somebody else look at your profile. That was not part of your network. Yes, You're not paying enough attention to me. <laughs> really? Like, it's not bad enough you made a Facebook page? <laughs> That's a theme, apparently. Oh, really? The poking? I'm sorry. They should update. Does anyone poke anymore? Nobody pokes. They, they need to revise the whole poking. You poke? Christopher Ray poked me like that. Yes, all the fucking time he does. Christopher Ray? I got poked like 20 times. I, I think we, we need to update the poking. I think there should be fisting. Yes. Candy, duplicity dilemma fisted you. Now I'm excited. Now I'm, I'm going to click on that shit. Wait, have you been to duplicity? Have I what? Have you been to duplicity? Have you been to duplicity? Or like, you know, it's a pokey or like, um, you know, Christopher Ray tossed your salad. <laughs> no, I want to click that. I want to see what's going on. I was addicted to the Facebook quizzes. Did you take those? There was a time when yes. that was like that was the big thing. Like, which Superman, oh. which Superman character are you? Which Harry Potter character are you? Can we just yes? Which Harry character? Wait, what is it? Harry, <laughs> Harry, <laughs> Harry. Listen, cocktail hour started a little early for mommy tonight. <laughs> which, <laughs> which Harry Potter character are you? And the result is always the same for everyone. It's get a life, you fucking loser. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say it wrong. Obviously. I was Hermione. Snape. <laughs> Me too. Hermione. Like, but seriously, bad. I learned so much about myself through the Facebook quizzes. I don't know how I got through life without knowing what John Cusack movie I am, what True Blood character I am. I took the What's Your Stripper Name quiz, and the result was Candy Trilla. <laughs> Best $150 an hour to tell me I'm an alcoholic. You paid? She said, I did pay. I did pay. I'm sorry. My insurance reimbursed me. It's okay. You have insurance? I'm talking. I used to, yeah, I did. All of those were the days. Healthy San Francisco doesn't count. What's that? Healthy San Francisco doesn't count. I didn't have healthy San Francisco. I had unhealthy, sickly Oakland AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sad I can't use it anymore. I moved to San Leandro. It's Oakland Light. I miss living in Oakland. I 
miss walking a block to MacArthur Bart Station and finding like eight pieces of weave hair and junky shit and rubbers. <laughs> oh my god, if I had half a brain, I, I would have picked up all that weave hair and like opened my own secondhand beauty shop. <laughs> candies, candies, weaves and shit. Uh, uh, candy, can and weave. <laughs> candy weave. Candy weave. Candy weave. Unbelievable. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. This mic is making some bad, awful noises. What else can we talk about? Blame it on the microphone. What's that? Dying. <laughs> it's dying a slow death. And so Your I'm gorgeous not. tits. Like, oh my gorgeous tits. People, sometimes people say to me, they're like, well, why don't you talk about your tits on stage? I'm like, I don't have to talk about my tits. They speak for themselves. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Woo! I agree. They're saying, bite me. Uh, no, they're saying, see, see, see. <laughs> no, well, in that case, it's more like F, 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 F. Thank you. That's Thank you. you. <laughs> Every once in a while, some some asshole, <laughs> retard guy, some straight guy, of course, will be like, hey, did you get your tits from your mom? I'm like, no, I get them from my father. <laughs> Big floppy man boobs, <laughs> and he's not afraid to use them. He likes to be motorboated <laughs> on his balls too, because that's how he rolls. <laughs> I have like the manliest dad. It's so funny. My dad, he's, he's so fucking cool. My dad was a boxer, an iron worker, a hunter. Like he knows everything about cars, everything manly. This guy knows everything about. And when I was growing up, it, I think it was hard for him to have a daughter because he didn't understand that saying, eat this little put hair in your chest is not the way to motivate a four-year-old girl to have deer meat for the first time. <laughs> but I'll never forget, uh, I used to live in North Carolina. Before I moved to the Bay Area, I, thank you. Thank, I lived in North Carolina. What? Well, Western North or uh, Southern? I lived in, uh, well, most of the time I was there, I lived in Carborough. You know that? Yes. In the Raleigh Durham area. Carborough is right next to Chapel Hill. So I put in a play, and one of the venues I put it on was this, uh, this gay club, Asheville's Cool. This gay club called Rin Rinside in Durham. And I was kind of nervous because I didn't know how my dad would be in a gay bar. But he was totally cool, you know. He, he walks in, and he's got his motorcycle boots, and he had like black jeans and like some Harley, Harley shirt with some sex slogan on it or whatever. And the owner of the bar turns to one of my friends, and he looks my dad up and down, and he goes, mm. He's a butch. I love that. Okay, that's only funny for people who know my dad. Yeah. But anyway, my dad. Why? Because he's not He's just such a macho guy that you would just think he would even walk into a gay bar. But that's just me being stupid. He's. Is your dad? Is your dad Morgan? Is he what? Is your dad Morgan? No, Pennsylvania. He was born in New Jersey, but raised in Pennsylvania. No, Morgan, not Morgan. Mormon. No, Morgan. She was an iron worker and used to fix cars. Yes. She was a macho man. Whoa. Morgan and my dad, I think, are kindred spirits, and they have spoken on the phone. They worked a lot of the same places. They know a lot of the same people. And someday, I hope we can present like an evening with Morgan and Candy's dad at the stud in conversation. Uh, anyway, this evening has taken a very, very strange turn. Are we ready to get the show going? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. I cool. thought it was going. But we love you. So <laughs> I had a little birthday dinner with one of my friends earlier, so that's why I've been stumbling over some of my words, because we've already celebrated a little bit. The drummer, the better! I don't know if you guys know Ron Vibe, but he turns 50 tonight, so you know Ron Vibe. Ron Vibe! Come on, Arby's. He's 50. He's 50. Did I mention he's 50? Anyway. 